Howdy everyone, in this video we are going to dive into the world of WaterCAD. WaterCAD is used by land development engineers to design utility pressure pipe systems. Utilities can be a water main, a reclaim main, or a force main. If you want a refresher on WaterCAD, I highly suggest you watch my last video where I show you guys how to build a simple model. In this video, we're going to dive a little bit more into scenarios and alternatives. I'm going to show you how to build a master model, which is a full build-out model, of a residential neighborhood, and I'm gonna show you how you can phase this model out so you can analyze the different phases. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to this scenario tree. Here you have your scenario tree. This is the default of the scenarios, which is our base. I'm going to actually call this our master plan. And think of this master plan as our entire build out of this residential neighborhood. Now, in order to break some of these up, you can do another base scenario and we can call this a phase one plan. So now we have three different scenarios and think of a scenario as a cheeseburger. That's my favorite analogy. A scenario is a cheeseburger while all of the alternatives are the toppings of that cheeseburger. So in order to examine this cheeseburger, let's actually right click it and look at its properties. So here in the properties dialog box, you can see how this scenario is defined. And again, a scenario has different alternatives that you can associate to the scenario. So in this case, everything is just base. It's base everything because that is the default of WaterCab. So in order for us to even begin here, we have to set up, set up our scenarios and then we have to create some different alternatives. But before I just dive into all the different alternatives, I'm just going to lay out some pipe here. So I'm going to set up a simple model. And again, we dove into this in the last video. So if you're curious about that, check it out. So I'm going to throw in a simple reservoir, which can be modeled as the point of connection. I'm going to throw that there and then I'm going to grab my pipes up here and I'm going to start laying out some of this model. So if you hold the control key, that's how you can add bins to the system. And then once I release that control key, it can become a junction. So I'm just going to go all the way down this little road that we have here. And what the best practice is, is I usually have junctions at all of the intersections. So that's how I'm going to lay out this here. All right, so I'll close out here. And now I'm gonna have just a few little crossing pipes. So let's start here. All right, so now we have a little model set up and I'm gonna show you guys a tidbit. So I kind of want this color coded with different sizes. In order to do that, you can go over here to the, the pipe element symbology and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new color coding. So let's open this guy up and I wanna organize this by the size. So if I scroll down here, I can find diameter and here I want to enter in some different sizes. Six inch is going to be my lowest in this case, just for the example of this video. I'm going to give it a nice light blue and I'm going to say maybe an eight inch is dark blue and maybe a 10 is, what do we want to go with here? Maybe like a dark, dark green. I like that. So now we're going to press OK. And now, you know, we can clearly see the, the different sizes. Um, and we can make a legend of this by right clicking that, that color coding there. And we can do insert legend. And it's gonna ask me where I want it. I insert it right there. And now I can scale it. And then now I kind of know, you know, what, what sizes I have. And I have a background layer on, this is the, the Bing maps. You can always turn this off here. Uh, I like kind of having the background so you can visualize, uh, you know, where we're working here. All right, since we're talking about scenarios and alternatives, I'd like to point out that right now we are in the master plan scenario. So consider this our build-out model. This will be our build-out model. And since I'm in that master plan scenario, I am operating under a certain alternative. Right now, everything that I'm laying out is in the base alternative because I didn't go and, and name it anything special. 
So here we have the different alternatives. Now, one thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a phase model. And the way that I like to do these phase models is I like to control the active topology. Now, when something is active, that just means that it's on. And if it's not active, it's off and it won't calculate anything. So I actually want to go to here and go to active topology. And I'm going to call this the master plan because everything is on. Now, I wanna show you kind of how to phase this thing out. So let's consider this first phase uh, right here, kind of of this road down to this junction. And then I'm gonna assume that these east and west pipes right here on these roads are a part of the first phase. So how can I set this up where you know I can have a phase scenario? Well, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is I'm going to want to go to that phase one plan scenario because we've already set up a scenario in this case. Now it's really important to be cognizant of what scenario you're in and what alternative is being referenced in this scenario. So I'm going to open this alternative box again and right now this is not what I want to see here. Right now I'm in a phase one plan and that's the scenario, but the active topology that's referenced is the master plan. Well, I don't really want that. What I want to do is I want to create an alternative. And in this case, it's going to be the phase one scenario. So I only want certain pipes active in this. So in order to create another alternative, or again, another topping to this cheeseburger, I'm going to head and click this and I'm going to duplicate. So I'm making a copy of that master plan and I'm going to call this phase one plan. So since I've created a new alternative that is again different than the master plan, I've made a copy, but now this topping is its own thing. Now what I wanna do here is make sure that my scenario is referencing the right active topology alternative. So again, I'm gonna right click scenarios, go to properties, and I'm going to make sure my active topology is now referencing the phase one plan. And boom, now we are cooking with fire here. So we are all set up to begin the work for setting up this phase model. So I want to turn all of these pipes and junctions off that aren't associated to this road right here and these two crossing pipes. It's as simple as this. Go up to your home tab, to the common tools, select active topology, and you got this little toolbar here we're gonna go ahead and select the pipes and the junctions that we don't want. So I wanna turn all of these off. So I've selected and now I'm gonna press this check mark and voila, all of these other pipes are now off. And you can't really see them because they're grayed out, but let me turn off this Bing map. You can see that they are gray. Another way that you can check this out is in the flex tables. So let's go to our pipe. All right, so now we got the pipe flex table box open. I'm going to add a column here. And in order to add a column, you can right click one of the columns. You can go to add column here. I really want to check the active topology. And right here, you can see if any of these are active. Right here, we can see that only about four pipes are active. And in this case, we got one, two, three, four. So all four of those pipes are active. So our model is ready to run during a phased state. And again, that's the easiest way to set up this phased model. Now let's say you wanted to go back and edit your master plan. Well, you just simply go up here to the scenario tab here and go back to master plan. And now you can make your edits. That's all I got for today. This was a very simple lesson on how to set up a master plan with a phased model. And again, we dove into just the active topology alternative. There are other alternatives that you can apply to these scenarios. And in later videos, we can explore that. Because let's say if you wanted to run different scenarios with different pressures, what you would want to do is have a different physical alternative. For instance, if you wanted this reservoir to have different alternatives for, let's say, a pressure of 40 PSI or 50 PSI, where you can do that is you can create different physical alternatives. That way you can examine different scenarios with different pressures. I hope you guys learned something new. WaterCAD is an essential tool for land development engineers to design pressure pipes. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my page and follow for more engineering videos.
Thank you and have a good night.